Okay, one of the gadgets I got this year is an ELM327 OBD2 uh, Wi-Fi interface. It'll connect to your uh, Android or your iOS device. Doesn't take any batteries or anything. It plugs into the OBD2 port, the onboard diagnostics, and connects via, uh, via Wi-Fi to an iPad or a uh, iPhone Android device. So it's pretty cool. You can monitor a lot of engine performance. If you don't know, Stan the Van has a brand new engine and uh, we want to kind of keep tabs on it with this. So here's how it works. Okay, that is the OBD2 uh, port for this thing. And it will only go in one way. So it's not too hard to mess it up. But you plug it in with the car turned off and then it, uh, sticks out there now this is what I don't like about it let me give you a look at this to me I think it would be in the way of getting in and out of the car you know so let's see if I can show you here's my feet I think he might get kicked getting in and out of the car but other than that it's okay I uh haven't ran it while I'm driving yet, but uh, we'll do that here in a few minutes. Okay, so I got the iPad lay, laying down there on the floor. I'm gonna get a mount where I can see it up here, but I got the camera down there videoing, so we'll drive a little bit with this thing on and see how it goes. Okay, so I have this sitting on the floor, the, uh, the camera and I'll try to watch it, so don't worry about me driving while this is on. But, uh, one thing I wanted to look at was the temperature. I always thought this thing kind of runs warm, especially if it's not moving. It has two fans on the radiator. You can hear one kick on and off regularly. And just a few minutes that I've had it in the driveway getting ready to head out, it got over 200 degrees. So I don't know if that's normal or not, but let's see how it goes. Now the thing is on the, on the OBD2 readout here on the iPad, temperature gauge on the dash, it's always right in the middle. So I know it can't display extremely accurate data, which is an analog a needle, but uh, I always thought it seemed like a brand kind of warm. So right now we're going along about 60 miles an hour.
just took it to an auto parts store and had them read the code. And the code that it set was a O2 sensor, which the mechanic said that possibly could happen because the old engine was uh, blowing oil all over the place inside and uh, some had gotten into the exhaust. They changed one of the O2 sensors when they put the new engine in, uh, but I guess there was a little oil in the other one. It finally burned off. I reset the code and no problem so far driven the new engine probably around 1200 miles and uh, seems pretty good. I highly recommend the uh, Jasper refit, remanufactured engine. It has a great warranty, 100,000 mile warranty nationwide, parts and labor, three years. So uh, when I get it, it's uh, many miles on it in the next three years and <laughs> see how it looks. Can't afford to put a new motor in. There's other videos on the channel about the of the motor and uh, our celebrity mechanic who talked about it on the video for a few minutes a couple weeks ago so check it out okay so there you have it the obd2 sensor for the fan elm327 interface not too bad check it out